You have been prescribed prednisolone. This video and audio will give you tips on how to take this important medicine. Prednisolone is a steroid used to treat many conditions and works by reducing inflammation and pain. It is very important to take prednisolone exactly as instructed by your doctor. Treating certain conditions may require a short course of prednisolone, with instructions to reduce the dose over a fixed time, whilst other conditions require you to take prednisolone every day for a long time. The longer you take prednisolone, the higher your risk of side effects and need for regular review by your doctor. Unless instructed, never stop the medicine suddenly. Always follow your doctor's guidance and finish the entire prescription. Even if you feel better, suddenly stopping your steroid when not instructed may lead to a serious medical emergency called adrenal crisis or adrenal insufficiency. The risk of accidentally stopping your prednisolone is greatest when you are seen by different medical teams. Whenever you interact with healthcare services, it is important you state the exact dose of prednisolone you are taking. Always have your steroid emergency card with you. This card would have been given to you at the time of dispensing. The card helps healthcare professionals identify patients at risk of adrenal insufficiency and offers crucial information on emergency treatment during acute illness, trauma, surgery, or other major stressors. Replacement steroid emergency cards can be obtained from your pharmacist or doctor. Now take the following steps to reduce problems when taking prednisolone. It is best to take your prednisolone with food to avoid stomach irritation, especially if you are taking other medicines that increase stomach irritation. It is also best to limit your intake of alcohol. Prednisolone mimics the body's own natural steroids, which helps to control your wake and sleep cycle. To avoid keeping you awake at night, it is better to take prednisolone in the morning with your breakfast. Never skip doses unless instructed. If you forget a dose, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it is almost time for your next dose, then do not take the missed dose at all. To reiterate, do not take a double dose to make up for a forgotten dose. If you are on long-term steroids, ensure you keep sufficient supplies to avoid running out. Be aware that taking steroids can lead to increased appetite, mood changes, or changes in skin appearance. The increased appetite will lead to weight gain with long-term steroid use, unless you introduce healthy eating habits to counter this effect. If you have diabetes, you may notice your blood sugar levels increase during courses of steroids. This may require adjustment in the doses of diabetic medicines and diet. It may surprise you that although short courses of steroids like prednisolone are used during period of acute infection, such as a chest infection, taking long-term steroids can actually suppress the protective role of your immune system and increase the risk of future infections. You should tell your doctor or nurse specialist straight away if you develop any signs of infection, such as a sore throat or fever. Taking steroids can make you at risk of becoming very ill if you catch chicken pox or shingles. It is important that you avoid contact with people who have chicken pox or shingles whilst you are taking prednisolone and up to three months after you stop taking it. It is known that long courses of steroids increase your risk of developing osteoporosis, especially if you have other risk factors, such as following menopause. If you are at risk, then your doctor will have provided other treatments to strengthen your bones whilst taking steroids. Some other drugs interact with prednisolone, and you should always tell any doctor treating you that you are taking prednisolone and should not take over-the-counter preparations without discussing this first with your doctor or pharmacist. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, discuss implications of taking steroids with your doctor. Always follow your doctor's advice. If you have further questions, consult your doctor or pharmacist for more information. Finally, please read the prednisolone patient information leaflet, which came with your prescription.